my shuggies, Ashley here, and in today's video, I have another amazing Amazon home haul. I've been able to run up some really good items for the new year, including things to organize your home, braid your home, and of course, a few fashion items. So if you are interested in seeing this amazing Amazon home haul, then just keep watching. <laughs> All right, you guys, before we get into the video, I am going over my Dossier perfumes for this month. I am so excited to try these. I absolutely am obsessed with these. This month's two cents, the first one is Florian to Coconut. I love anything to do with anything coconut, so this I'm super excited to try. This has notes of cardamom, pistachio, amber, jasmine, and coconut, and it is inspired by Tom Ford's Soleil Blanc Eau de Parfum. So let's give this one a try. Again, as I always say, these components are definitely something for other people to take note of. I love the clean sleekness of it and the fact that it's magnetized. I think that's so efficient. Oh, this is really nice and really light. It smells very clean, almost like a fresh powdery scent with a little bit of citrus in it. I definitely smell the notes of jasmine and a hint of coconut. So if you light something that is really nice and light and clean, and fresh smelling, you will definitely love this scent. It is so nice and so clean and refreshing smelling. That's what I would say really defines this perfume. Moving on to the next Dossier perfume. This is Citrus Tea, which again, you can never go wrong with anything citrus in my opinion. And this has notes of fig, black tea, cedarwood, musk, and is inspired by Le Labo, the Noir 29 Eau de Parfum. I am not familiar with that brand name, but it sounds very expensive, so I'm super excited to try this. I love and obsess with anything citrus. If you know me, citrus, coconut, fruity, totally my vibe. Oh, this one is complete opposite of the other one in the best way possible. I definitely smell the, the, the depth, the cedar wood, the musk. It has a really nice, heavy, strong, almost a little bit of a masculine scent. I'm understanding where they're getting the tea name from. This has a really nice, strong scent to it. If you like something more on the masculine side, more on the heavy side, more on the deep, rustic side, then you will definitely love this scent. It's a little bit woodsy, um, if that makes sense, and a little bit more of a musky spice. So really nice and deep and very, very different. Be sure to let me know in the comments down below if you guys have tried any of these perfumes. They are so affordable and so amazing. I absolutely love this company. I will, as always, leave all of the information in the description box down below as well as a link for you guys. All right, you guys, we are starting off in the pantry with these beautiful new spice jars and racks. I am seriously obsessed with organizing and this just started out as something that I wanted to try and these are literally the perfect size. I probably ordered five different sets just to make sure I was getting the exact size that I wanted because sometimes I feel like they fib a little bit when they say it's a certain ounce or a certain size and you get them and they're not. So this is what they look like. I can attest to a full regular jar of seasoning from any Publix, any supermarket fitting in these. They are so nice and heavyweight. I love the bamboo lid. As you can see here, they're all a little bit different. It has a nice seal. I've read a ton of reviews and some people were complaining about the seals, but I mean, I think they're perfectly fine. I also love these, the fact that they aren't super tall and skinny because I was getting some of the ounces correct in the volume that I wanted, but then they were making the containers really skinny and really tall. So if you're into aesthetics, if you're into organizing, if you're into spices, then this is the perfect set for you. I also will link the labels because I have these and I love them. They also have the ones that are a little bit shorter and wider if you don't like the way that this looks. And then of course, 
I had to try a couple of different styles of the wood risers and these are perfect. They are not adjustable, but as you can see, they fit 15 spices perfectly and you have a little bit of room in between so it's not going to be a super tight squeeze. I have a total of 30. I think I'm left with two extra spice jars so if any crack or are damaged or I just want to change them out, I have them, which is good to have a couple of extra. I also wanted to note that the price range on these varies so much. Some of them are so super expensive. These were the most affordable with the best quality that I could possibly find. So I have done all the homework for you guys. You do not have to spend any time researching. I will link these below and let me know if you have them and if you love them because I seriously am obsessed and I feel like I could never get rid of them. Now next up, I know this might not seem like a big deal, but for those of you that like to organize, continuing the organizational thread, underneath the sink, I got these organizers from all over the place, but I will find some similar from Amazon and link them. But why we are here is because of this bad boy right here. And this is an amazing, perfect, super strong paper towel holder that I did an absurd amount of research on because I wanted to make sure I was getting one that was gonna be really strong and of course aesthetically pleasing. And this one was literally the perfect size. It wasn't too deep. It was open on the end, but it wasn't gonna slip off because as you can see, it's a little bit bent on the end to keep it nice and secure. This has everything and I'm telling you, this thing is going nowhere. So if you are a paper towel user and lover like me and you want it underneath the sink to where it's nice and obscure, but it's easily accessible, this is the perfect one for you. You can literally put it anywhere. And if you do have something, a surface that is a little bit deeper, it does come with screws and caps to cover them, which I think is really nice, a nice little added touch. So if you had something that was a little bit wider than this cabinet, you could definitely screw it in and keep it really secure. But for all intents and purposes, it works. And this is my little organizational setup. I have this right here, which is for soda cans that I had left over from a set from Costco and I put my sponges in it. I've got my big rack right here, which is divided, and I have my dishwasher tubs, all of my cleaning supplies, and then I, I don't know, I'm on a kick with <laughs> Lazy Susans. These work so perfectly, and of course, my Walmart glass spray bottles, and this just works perfect underneath my sink. It's easily accessible. These are things that I use every single day, so I will link all of these things, like I said, below for you, and if you are looking for these OXO containers, you can find them literally anywhere. And I hope that you are watching my Instagram stories because I posted the amazing deal that Target recently had for some secret clearance on this set. So like I said, I will link all of these goodies below for you, but this bad boy is definitely a must. All right, now this next item is definitely something that's going to be an investment, but I wanted to share it with you guys because it is so amazing. This is the Berkey water filtration system. I've been looking for something like this for quite some time and I finally pulled the trigger and I absolutely am loving this. I don't know where I'm gonna store it. I literally just figured out how to put it together and use it, but if you are interested in a filtration system that focuses on good, healthy water, then this is definitely something you need to look into. I like to do my own research and derive my own opinions about this, but this is the one I settled on. They come in a ton of different sizes. So if you're looking and you're confused because there's so many different prices on them, it's because uh, it goes by the gallons. And then of course with the gallons comes more or less filters. So that is the in essence breakdown of that. So I'll go over, this is obviously all stainless steel. There is the lid. And then inside there are two filters. Those are the regular black filters that it comes with. And again, depending on the size, it will have one or more than one. Uh, the maximum I think is four for the largest size that they carry. And then in here, I actually got the other two filters, which are specifically for fluoride and arsenic reduction. Those are used in conjunction with the other two black filters, which are the black Berkey elements to absorb fluoride, arsenic, preoxidized arsenic, and other residual typical heavy metal ions. So lots of really good stuff in here. Again, 
I cannot exercise enough to do your own research and figure out what works best for you and your family. But this is what I wanted to do. I wanted to make some small improvements just to kind of help with those sorts of things that are obviously a part of everyday life that we need to be cognizant of. So I settled on this. This is a three point, I believe two five gallon size. So it's on the bigger end, but definitely not the biggest one that they have. And again, I'm gonna have to figure out a place to store it. If you guys have anything like this, please let me know how you guys decided to store it, where you stored it at. I know obviously it's really easily accessible to be next to the sink so you can just refill it, but I would like to put it somewhere else because it's rather large. So I wanted to go over this nice purchase with you guys. It's an investment, but again, this is about your health and that's always good to invest in. So I will link all the details of this one in specific down below. Okay, next up we are in the bathroom and I wanted to show you this tiered tray. Oh my gosh, I love it. I actually got one for my side and my husband's side. I finally settled on my accessories here, which will be in a future video if you are curious. I absolutely love these because they are frosted and I can store all of my makeup goodies and Q-tips and anything you want inside of them. But this tear tray is super cute. I love it, it is very affordable, it's very nice and lightweight, and it is perfect in height for a corner for you to store any of your makeup, skincare, perfume, any of that stuff on, and I absolutely love it. Especially if you have a smaller vanity, I think this will work perfectly. The only thing I wish they did differently was I wish that they made these a little bit more obscure and perhaps black to blend in a little bit better, but I like the simplicity of it. It was super easy to put together and it has just a really nice little clean modern cutout here in the front. If you are looking for something for your bathroom, for your vanity, even inside of a cabinet to store things to have more of a double shelf uh, effect, then this will work out perfectly for you. I will link it below for you and it got here super, super quickly. I will also link, if you are interested, just let me know in the comments, these new accessories here. They are from Bed Bath & Beyond and I absolutely love them. They have so many cute things. This is what I store at my mouthwash in. I had something different before that was not for mouthwash. This one specifically is, uh, that was from Target. But this one, because you guys ask me questions, this one is brand new, current, and available. So if that's something you're interested in, Unlike the other one, this one is available and in stock. So I will link all of these goodies in the description box down below. Next up, we are talking about the most random but necessary thing ever. I don't know why I absolutely love this, but I was searching for something to put my liquid stevia in that I use religiously for juices, teas, coffee, anything. I love liquid stevia. I feel like it tastes so much better than the powder. I don't know if I'm crazy or if you guys agree with me, but I really do feel like there's a big difference. So I was looking for something to store it in, but finding aesthetically pleasing containers with droppers is very difficult. So I landed on this little bitters bottle and that is something related to alcohol. I'm not too familiar with bitters, but it's really small. They come in a ton of shapes, textures, and sizes. They also come with different tops. One has a pour spout, one has the glass top. This came with both. Um, in specific, they come in sets, they come in singleton. So really any way you want to do this, if you wanted to get a set and put stevia in one or liquid syrups for your coffees, any of that stuff, you totally could do that. But I love how small it is. So I'd say it's about four inches tall and maybe an inch and a half to two inches wide. It's perfect for liquid stevia. I just pop the top open, pour in my liquid, and then I store it on top of my little tear tray that I'm in love with from Target, and it works perfectly. That way, it's all easily accessible, it's super affordable, and it's aesthetically pleasing so I don't have this heinous, hideous dropper that's in a super dark bottle on top of my tiered tray. So if you guys are into syrups for your coffee or liquid stevia, 
this is the perfect option for you. I will link a couple of different options below because like I said, they have a ton to choose from on Amazon and I will link this exact one for you because it is the perfect size. So we are in the guest bedroom and I want to talk about these cordless light bulbs. But before I forget, I also want to mention this rug. This is actually something that I recently moved into this room and this is the most affordable area rug. And this lighting is perfect to showcase the colors it's beautiful, it's affordable, it's light, it's thin. It really is the perfect area rug. It comes in so many different colors and sizes. So if you are looking for something in this color family or in a different color family in this size and the shape, I will link this below for you. I've had it forever. It has totally withstood the test of time. I have vacuumed it, I have scrubbed it, I have moved stuff all over it because it was in the front entryway. So it's definitely held up perfectly over the years. So if you're looking for something like this, I will link this below for you because this is a really, really good affordable option for an area rug. Now, to the reason why we are here, I absolutely love this DIY lamp. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I made this from a piece that I found at the Goodwill, but I really did not like the cord because as you can see here, it would show. So I tucked the cord behind and I got this, I think it's called like life light bulb. And look at how bright that is. And what a beautiful bright light that gives off. I love how it's not too warm. It just gives off the perfect amount of light in this room, especially when it's really dark at night. I got a set of two. They are rechargeable and they're really nice. They actually come with this little hanger so you can hang them or you can unplug them. As you can see, they come apart from this top piece and you plug it in and there you go. So you can either do it that way or you can plug it in, hang it and press this button. Either way will work. They're rechargeable, they're super affordable and they come in packs of two. I did get one for this lamp and then of course I have another one that I DIY'd as well because I got a pair of them and it is in white upstairs in my office. So I put one here and one upstairs. If the electricity ever goes out, you could totally use them as well. So very versatile, very functional and a really great option for those of you that that have a lamp that you do not want the cord to show on. So I will link this below for you guys as well. Next up, I wanted to talk to you guys about this planner. I have been searching everywhere for a really nice planner. I love the old school type that you can just organize, customize, and use to your advantage to keep everything organized and together as far as timelines, work, personal life, anything like that. And this one is amazing. It comes in a few different patterns and I'm gonna kind of go over how you can customize it. So if you are not familiar with this, which I was not before I purchased this, everything in here is removable. As you can see here, these tabs come inward and they attach to these rings so you can literally move every single piece of paper in and out. So as you can see, I have several tabs. It comes with a ton of paper and then it also comes with multiple calendars, which you can also label with these stickers that it comes with, including the dates, hearts, different shapes, and of course, all of the months. So this is completely customizable, which is great because we are past the beginning of the year, so you don't have to worry about losing money or losing out on getting a calendar that started in January. You can start any single month you want, any single day you want, and customize this to your benefit. So this is really good. I personally like to have the month, and then after each month, I like to have a couple of blank pieces of paper to write down ideas, important information, keep things documented, anything like that. That way each month I can go back and forth and revert back to the month prior or look forward to the next month to see what I have scheduled and planned and what's going on. So this is something that's really nice. The size is perfect. I love the fact that it has the hard plastic cover on the front. Again, it comes in multiple colors, multiple finishes. This is the only size that I saw from this brand. I'm sure there are a million brands out there. This is by The Happy Planner, but if you are a planner lover, like me, an organizer, then you will definitely really benefit from something like this. So I will link this one down below for you and you can see all of the different color options that they have. And let me know if you guys currently have planners 
if you use other brands and which ones you love because I feel like that's something you could never have enough of. I also wanted to show you guys the super affordable way to store your sunglasses and jewelry. I have been looking on Pinterest, on Instagram, on TikTok, on everything you can imagine to find something affordable and of course aesthetically pleasing to store my sunglasses and regular glasses. And this is the perfect thing. It is super nice, super lightweight. It stores 10 pairs of glasses and it is the perfect size and height if you have this wardrobe that I have linked so many times for you that is also available that I will link down below. It's perfect for the shelves on the side. It is not the most heavyweight, durable, high-end piece you've ever seen, but I did not want anything that was gonna be super expensive and super high-end. I just wanted something that was going to be nice, aesthetically pleasing, potentially clear, that was going to store all of my glasses so that they wouldn't get broken or bent because I've had a lot of issues with that. Just leaving them around the house, they get really damaged. As you can see, this pair, this poor pair needs some love. He's so bent and <laughs> messed up. So it really keeps them safe and it keeps them organized so you can see exactly what you have. So you also don't have to worry about buying more than you need because like I always say, if you can't see it, then you can't use it. So I love this. I also got this little piece right here. It is a clear jewelry holder and I absolutely love this. This is really nice and high-end feeling. It feels very nice and luxe. It is too levels high so you can store bracelets and necklaces. I really don't wear a lot of jewelry so the few pieces that I have I have stored here and I just love how it gives it some nice height and it really levels everything up because it's that nice clear acrylic look. And again it keeps everything really nice on display so you can see exactly what you have and you don't have to worry about things getting damaged or tangled because I know that that's so hard when you have things like necklaces or really long bracelets and drawers they can get tangled and messed up and that is super frustrating. So this is the perfect piece and again fits perfectly in this garment rack. If you have this you will absolutely love it because it'll fit perfectly on these shelves on the side. So I will link this and the sunglass holder below in the description box. I also wanted to go over these sets of labels because I have several from Amazon that I absolutely love and a couple of different ones. So if you want labels for those spray bottles and that sort of thing. They have this set right here, which comes with literally everything you could ever imagine. And it also comes with blank ones. So if you wanted to write your own and label them yourself, you could. These fit perfectly on everything I have in the laundry room from those carafes from Ikea, the glass spray bottles from Walmart or the ones from Target that are super similar. These fit all of those perfectly. Next up is the set that I have currently on those spice bottles that I showed you in my pantry. It comes with so many. I've actually ended up, I think, using this twice, one on my old set and one on my new set. They are more tall and more skinny. Again, they come with literally every spice you could ever imagine, which is great. So if you have some really unique spices, they definitely will have them in there as well. I also have this set, which I really like because they are super useful for anything because they're clear. So if you have something you wanted to label spice-wise or or really anything, then they will be super obscure because they have that clear background. I like to also put these underneath the spices so that if I'm ever confused or I don't have the exact name of the spice in this set, then I can use this set just to cross-reference them to make sure I have exactly what I need. This last set is really nice because they are black, they are simple, they are round, and they come with everything, again, you could ever imagine. And then, of course, a full sheet of plain ones. So if you wanted to write in nice white Sharpie, silver Sharpie, chalkboard Sharpie, anything like that, you totally could. These are really nice and aesthetically pleasing and clean cut looking and are going to be really nice in contrast of color if you have a clear spice jar or you wanted to label the top of a round spice jar. These would be really nice. So a lot of diversity here. I just wanted to show you some options and we'll link all of these below in the description box. All right, you guys, that is going to wrap up this video. As always, I will link everything in the description box down below. Please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit that post notification bell so you guys can be notified every time I upload new videos. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.